again. The old guy who can give advice that you would get in the just Join us. Share the program for us. 
Yes. That's right. Yes, and ne a dear night, you did a bremone. And never we didn't come up. Now, a say, say, dear, our rear Anna a bed also, it will a crew more animal. Now, home office for say almost show casing, so why ya our rear? Now, say almost show casing, man. A dear bear, dear, and I said, What are the signs? What are the triggering factors? Anna, I am not almost she. Now, almost you too, said our reno, and your papa, and I said, and your papa. And I said, What you cry? Oh, ba, what we drew a quenty fee. Ye genau er to two one. A dear bear, dear, and I am not almost she, said our reno, said a your papa, and I said, and your papa. Ene fe wunu yebi, anase woso, ne wunu yebi soso, enye bi emche. Because ene vim lady na kasa ajo ene as. Vim lady, bebi ya wubi aye chia chia. Enu nti no, de mekane se fe wubi biara, a wunu mano. Ese onfe ne fidi eno, ente fire life radio. Because akwa nchua di babi mamo neno, eche ede biya. Na ma shoda soso na me kano, sebe sebe, akan kase mu. Se diye ya, yepete asye yi. Ubi kaye, se udru bebi, na se wenshe unya, unya ubi, ema ni inti yawa na aso. Enweti na, yetu ye hon, esiwo, esi ye besomu. Enti ene, ensama bakwa, rase topic bakwa ebe, ebe ye nono. Diya tosu miyenu, ebi ya wabe kurumu anamo. Ebi ya wako wako shia police, weni police enya bibi ya fene encounter. Enti only police enya encounter a dear bay na a was a way a quaint bear na a was a wofasso. And I say, How do you have to comport or behave yourself? Said ye ya, Emfa won't go to a how beam. O being a sucker yet to botty bow, and I suck your botty botty. Name mum. A was it with me uphold yourself. Said ye ya, the right that you have, no. Cannot be manipulated, and I say, cannot be abused. Put it that way. And you're very, very important. Anything on, and then, and also, so you become awesome. Now, you know, because also, so I send you message this year. Or say, a mercy na edi, emma employer, a co check it, your right to work. Um, and a mecca was some kakra, you know, more my lucky. Ah, omo kite new card ni biya, e ye mo blue color no. Eno diya, wang kasa bit miya create share code. Ah, ene, me chire mo se diye, ye si, e create share code no. Na, che se, employer, e be hawa jwenea. Me, wenye sa fi nambe ko home office biya, wa create share code no. Ne fa e diye, ne fa mano, ni yina no, e diye, e boa, e ma, osusu, unya wasu mi biye. Enti ene ene soso yebe kan e hongo asem kakra. Na di e kato okra so yebe kan hongo asem e ye, what do you call it? Let me refer to my notes. E ye, um, how to claim compensation from the Criminal Injury Compensation Board. Na e kromo ana there are two types of compensation a ubiti ni e claim. Bako e ye civil wana ubi e nim se Se e biya kunya uye involved in a car accident. Ana se um, ubi prawo ane bibi sana. Se e nipano ubi timi e siu se e nipano. E no e wo honu mo. Na aha. A ah, ye fe bibi criminal injury compensation board. No? Ye dru wa. Me chile bibi about social contract. Na social contract no. Se wa ye social science ha. E bia mama ye social science ne diye. Mo bete asye ye. Anase mo mo ridi about social science no. Mo bete asye ye. Na mi mpese me ko too much deep at this stage. En tu diye ye nya en tobo asye. Na ye be ko ni nyine ya e mune. En ti ye be kan bibi aba criminal injuries compensation board. Who is eligible 
to put in a claim to the government for injuries suffered. Se upra na se abaye ni mpo sebe sebe. Wanti mi an chini pano an panesheno. Na se wanti mi provu se injury na wako um, awo, uh, ato wano is as a result of criminal enterprise. Ah, we are victim. And also, so, I'm running a war Ah, with me claim compensation. Now, every piano, I am not a man, I'm a name, I'm running. And a drug baby cry now, I was yet me make a claim. Yeni munti, yeti mun claim. Now, you see, car, I was yeni, you It's rightfully ours, you know. Now, and also, so, I had the echo. Now, talking about this, if I'm not mistaken, Reggae band is very famous. Pa, any film UB40. Now, some time ago, me I listened to their history documentary. Kakra, on top of my head, you know, compensation injury. As a compensation, ah, baku enyaye true injury. You no, know? I don't know the quarter band. I don't know the quarter name. I just started a band. You know, cause now omu ni ano omu ke unemployed boys. Into UB40. Ah, my friends, in form, I be feel I be a kujido, no. Them days, no. Na omu ni na a kujido. Ti ba kupray, o pray no. O kujia compensation. Ti compensation of the kato instruments. Ana che some de practice ya ene UB forty. Ebe ye UB forty. E ti se wote just another girl. Cherry oh cherry oh baby. You know what is how you wey na. Na che se injury compensation. And then I are producing all these wonderful tracks and wonderful music, you know, over the years. And you know, a dear eye what they are, not say a fatter, not say a set, a set, a so clean with the air, and by all means, and then me the truck, quite a bit faster with my application. Now we're claiming. You can be so freedom pass, or be a one man, or qualify for freedom pass, but only in the other so at a bus pass. Nini na eye bibia e wokru mwa e ha e bi majene. Ntina ma set it up justice and law YouTube page. And si me bame ni mano, ah, me ye sure se a man for enye aware of it too much. No? Me ye short videos. E kwenye be faso. Ene how to also take advantage of some of these facilities ni projects a e wokru mwa ye nyo nubi bre enye awe. Ye ma min bi enye awe. Because I remember se gambi ni wu ma bibi hume. Na o qualify for freedom pass. O nim ti ye akasa no se o pass pass e kosu ni too much money. Even though ni huwa diyo o ye juma. But enye easy. Si ko be nye biya no. Si si anesa ako. Ane mbisa anse wa wa apply for freedom pass. O si freedom pass e ni deba adi. E ti ya kwa na idea neba se eish. Say a be more any aware of freedom pass. And the ne mbabe can freedom pass in one sense. Who can qualify for freedom pass? Who is eligible? And he and I would see with me apply for freedom pass. And also say back and one sense. And to the other one, justice and law, dear. You see, dear, a bebois, you're tearful. Dear, a bebois, your clients. Dear, bebois. Se biyo a hon huwa yabe kuru mwa. Se babi pe bi bi ako fiye. E no ana yabe kan huwa se. E ti se wadi ato wa. Na ososo wa she program na amame. Na ye timi ako e chile. Na ye miyan nubi. E soso e hudi e eko si wu kuru mwa anwa. Na omu soso a ye diye. Omu soso e ti miya benefiti from the system. Because a diye no. Ya ye shesha emra. Anase ya shesha bi bi ato wano mwa. Na se wo kolefa ya. Any any say we still time. Who qualify? Go and get it, because at the end of the day, no. Say who qualify? I didn't see na any say waji. Sebi sebi. If you entitled to it, you come out there. Maybe maybe my dear, maybe my dear, let me say I was a waji. Very be any. I na waji ya sebi sebi. You are losing out. And you know say was a waji ya. Any now so I did it. Na wa kwa kwa ji. And you know, um, Yebeka and also so Evno Asim and Mr. P. So do feed you not to her. But who more thing now 
a share program no ema ye se se am about to share the program ti me de nyum yi e ba be twem na me de twem wi a na afi metimi aye de yi metimi a share program no na ye nuanom a aya na omo hia reminders ana se ye nuanom a aya na omo entimi enya link na direct no na omo soso aye de yi enye bi aye de yi enye bi etie ana se enye bi ahwe and don't you know, every shape is a new me a shema, who's a mere when me, near the initial program in my I am not a severe time because every P and the young cast are same way. You will show now phone calls are the inyan or Anna know the name. I am not a severe, sir. Well, Finny, for this one, the young cast are a beer lawyer. Phone calls are the inyan, which you will add the inyan. I say, my send the message, and I say, my trust me free with a question, and I will ignore me. Se di disa questions ne chi disa phone calls ne chi ya. Ye juma pa an kofo e tuye ska se ye nye no. E nyan di ebi nyan time a ye se e juma no. Ana se ye nyan time e soso an ye se e juma na. E ni pa ni di e bufu e beji ni keis e free ye nse mo. Ne bade sa na ye se be de e ye biye tuya ye rent. Sebe sebe e fi di a ye be kredi electricity ne ye. Se si a electricity so po a ye de pa. E bane sa soso a ye so ye be ye de. Ana ye ti nyan ye de ye ti mi asa ba e. A day program, such a wonderful program. I had a a bremo. She ain't in our young wire home. Now, yes, so intimate and yet day and so more. And Tisana, you better. Tell you me, I didn't you me a chum. Now, just say you knew me up. Now, um, yet the program no idea. I shall share so. Then you media may bo and the other will be Biara assay. Will be Biara was support to ye, be your dim pipe or a tie ye. Mami Kato who saw don't call, baby I will be as a sea by yen tija ye chia chiao and anope baby I will be ara. Pentecost of foin as yet chia chiao, holy ghost fire, pentecost fire, rosemary eddia, baby I will be a boss lady back up or so see a chia chiao. O be bea wa join in ye biano, ye di nyanko eda masipi. Tefa nyu mi yin chum na ye ba na fe di medina shisha so. Ye di nyu mi e bo nyu mi e gumi na so ni a shape program na a man for so and ye bi aide ashe. Yes. 
When I say trigger, what am I talking about? Yes, sometimes people will do applications to the home office. And sometimes people are called for a marriage interview. Sometimes others are not called for a marriage interview. And sometimes people get their applications refused. On the basis of a doubt about the relationship, the genuineness of the relationship. So today, I have decided to specifically deal with this issue. Because many a times, when you try to explain to people, they sort of use their own sort of ideas to argue their point. I get it. Everyone has got an opinion. But if you are looking for something from someone who has got the power, then of course, you have to do it not only to comply with the law, but you also have to do it to make sure that you are you, you are you do it in accordance with the expectation that is the key you do it in accordance with the expectation what is expected of you so today it's not me saying it i'm gonna show you this i really want you to look at this and this is the topic family policy partners divorce and dissolution this is home office guidance published for home office staff on 20th of june 2022 so this is a new guidelines when case workers home office staff are making decisions on your marriage applications what is it that they look out for what is it that will make a caseworker think that this application needs further scrutiny. What will make a caseworker think that maybe this application is not up to standard and that something is not right? So when you are looking at home office applications or when you are doing home office applications, not only will you have to be concerned about knowing the law, you also have to be concerned about the home office policies. And the policies is what a lot of people do not look at. People may go on the internet and they will simply look at the general information that is on the internet and just follow any instructions that they may see on the internet without having any clue as to what the home office home office policy may be somewhat sometimes you can read the general instructions that you see on the internet but if you are not aware about the home office policy when they are making decisions what they look for this is where a lot of people go wrong as I speak to you over the past two weeks, at least some cases have come before me where individuals have completed wrong application forms following the general instructions that they see on the internet. After six months, seven months, eight months, they receive a refusal letter from the Home Office that the wrong application form has been completed and that since their visa has expired they should make the necessary arrangement and leave the united kingdom i'm having to rush and quickly put in an application for people because when they submitted the applications they had an extended visa i.e. their visa had not expired however they did the wrong application they filled the wrong form online 
thinking that they've done the right applications. Seven, eight months, nine months and on the line, they receive a refusal letter. By then, the visa had expired. Rush to justice and law solicitors. And I say, through the spirit of the Most High, we have been able to rescue two. We are still fighting for the two. And I hope that those watching me, if you are in that situation, you know where to run to. If you are not in that situation and someone is bombarding you, that, oh, it's easy. Oh, it's easy. It's just filling a form. It's just filling a form. Let me do it for you. And so on and so forth. At the end of the day, when it goes wrong, that person will simply look away and say that, sorry, I tried to help you, but it didn't work. So go and see a lawyer. At that time, you will lose sleep. At that time, you will, use, you will lose the drive, even the desire to eat. Because your immigration life is on life support machine. Why do we have to put ourselves in this situation? All because of the little that you will pay to a qualified person to do it for you. You may try to avoid it, but you end up paying more. Because when you submitted the application, you paid money, application get refused, you don't get your money back. You come to the situation where application has been rejected, not only are you going to lose sleep or lose appetite, you are also going to do a fresh application and you're also going to pay more money. And the money that you are trying to avoid by not paying the lawyer, you are still going to pay that again. So it will end up costing you more than actually getting a lawyer from the first place. Not only that, you also put your work at risk. You could be working for a company. Company may ask you for a share code or evidence that you have, proved, you have submitted your application. If you are not lucky, you will also lose your job. Right now, as we know, when you submit an application to the home office, if you are lucky, you get a decision within 10 to 11 months. If you are not lucky, it can go on longer than that. And sometimes too, if you are lucky enough, you will get express service, which a decision is made within 72 hours. Right now, I've got one in front of me. I'm looking for express service. There isn't any. I'm having to check online every hour that I get in order to rescue um, this person. So all that I say is let's be careful. At the end of the day, when someone is advising you that, oh, it's easy, it's easy, it's easy. Wow, nothing is easy in this country. I can guarantee you that. You know, immigration law is one of the fastest changing areas of law in the United Kingdom, if not the fastest. Every day that we wake up, things change. And when things change, you ask yourself, are you up to date? That is the reason why my brethren call me Perche. He does, he does not take no prisoners. Anything, he will ring and seek advice before he take an action. Because he does not want anyone on his back. He does not want to go wrong. So I believe that it's an advice that I think we really need to take heed to. Because a lot of people have made a mistake. And they have listened to people who are not qualified, they have persuaded them to do an application that has gone wrong. Typical example is one of my clients, for example, she came to see me. I went through all the requirements. I gave her the list of documents that I would need in order to help her. As soon as she went home, another pocket lawyer. Oh, don't worry. The lawyer is going to take your money and you're going to waste your money. Blah, 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 blah. Even the items that I told the person to include, he told the person that it's not necessary. So he did the application for the person. The application got refused. The very items that he told the person to take out are the very items. Based on that, the application was refused. He went back to the person. The person said, but I'm not a lawyer. I was only trying to help you. 
So if you don't want to pay the money, that's the reason why you came to me. Meanwhile, the person was using her as a, what do you call it? As a practice, because the person intended to bring his own children. So in the person's head, let me use this woman as a practice. And then when it works, then that means I'll be able to do it. Without the client knowing, that's exactly what happened. He got refused. He came back to justice and law. We rescued the situation. Yo, yes. And we had to charge. Instead of two pounds, we charged four pounds. And she was happy to pay. It was a good business for us. Because once you make things complex, of course, we have to untangle the complexity before we can be on a smooth road. Why it does happen, even today, I don't understand but everyone has got a choice and if it works for you by all means good luck if it doesn't work for you be prepared to pay the price so we need to be aware of some of these things now we are going to be looking at marriage applications i call it the trigger home office have published a new guidelines june 2022 which is fresh so today we are going to be looking at triggering factors the things that the home office will see and they'll be convinced that this marriage is a genuine marriage. The things that they see that makes them think that this marriage is not a genuine marriage. So share the program to your brothers and sisters. Share because the thing is this. You may be in a genuine marriage, but because of cultural differences, Maybe what you may perceive to be normal behavior to the Western eye, to the Western glasses is abnormal behavior. So today I'm going to take my time. What is it that have to be present in your marriage applications for the home office to believe that your marriage is genuine or is you are in a genuine relationship? You are in a subsistent relationship. I am going to be going through today and this is from the home office guidance this is not me saying it and this is a guidance notes that the home office have given to caseworkers you know published in june 2022 you know everything that i do i try to be frank as possible and i try to make it very clear so that people will understand and we we'll also know the expectation, what is expected of them when you are doing such an application. So according to the Home Office guidelines, page 16 out of 44, the heading is factors which may be considered with a genuine and subsistent relay relationship one the couple are in a current long-term relationship and provide satisfactory evidence of this what does this mean let's go back to the application forms when you are filling home office application forms there is a section that they will ask you. When did the parties first saw each other? So then you write that. The next question is, when did the parties started their relationship? Then you also have to write that. Where did the parties first met? then you write that how often do the parties see each other then you write that when did the parties got married you write that where was the last time that the parties saw each other so if you look at the first point that they have raised it covers this particular point four points that i have spoken about so for example if you say you have met your wife 
in 2012. And you started your relationship in 2013. If you look at the guidance notes, it goes on to say, you have to be able to provide satisfactory evidence of this. So you cannot tell me that you have been in a relationship with someone from 2013 and you do not have any evidence of relationship from that time up to the time of the application. So if you don't have any evidence to back this claim up, then of course it raises a question mark as to whether your relationship is genuine and it is ongoing and it is subsistent. So in this particular scenario, home office would expect you, the applicant or the couple, to be able to provide evidence from the time of the relationship up to the time of the application. This will show that the relationship is genuine and it is also subsisting and ongoing. If you are able to prove that, then of course you are able to tick the first box. So that will help you to move forward. When we talk about evidence of genuine relationship, what are they talking about? In a normal relationship, what do couples do if you are dating someone from afar? If you are in a relationship with someone from afar, what are the evidence? What are the documents that you may want to see? Today we are going to be looking at that. So if you are dark, for example, I have traveled to say um, Gambia. I have met a Wolof woman. And we have started talking to each other. Right? I have to make sure that I keep evidence. I have to make sure that I have the evidence to prove in an event that one day, one day, I want my Gambian wife to join me in the United Kingdom. So what do I do? I have to make sure that the day that I went there that I met her, my passport, there will be visa stamp, and maybe fly plane ticket itinerary and so on and so forth. I have to make sure that I keep these things. If we took pictures when we first met or we started dating, I take pictures. Maybe we went to a hotel to have a nice time. Who knows? I have the ticket or the booking or whatever to show, to prove that our names are on there. We went to, um, say, Gambian International Hotel. You know, we stayed there for two nights. We had a fantastic time and so on and so forth. If that is the case, I need to keep those evidence. Now, let's go. I come back to the UK. Since I am trying to woo her, of course, I'll be bombarding her with telephone calls. Possibly, I'll be sending her money. Possibly, I'll be sending her cards. Possibly, I will be chatting to her. So it is important that all these evidences, we keep them. So if I send her a card, birthday card, Christmas card, Easter card, and so on and so forth, she will have to make sure that she keep the cards as well as the envelopes because at the back of the envelopes, there is a postal stamp that will show the date and the time and the location where it was posted from. So all this will be very, very strong evidence that you can use to support your claim. If I am sending her money, once again, it's not every money that we chop and it's not every money that we eat. Bantama bafo or si obi esika eshe obi botom na ewi asedo abrabo ohoi obi kan ye aise kejetia abetie. Se ube huni ne nafi se enye wakono enti wunto ni ya Oba e china, the one twenty no, and one is you over twenty. Because sick of you, you have to spend. You cannot run away from it. 
And therefore, if I am sending her money, I have to make sure that I use the official channel so that I have receipts to show, to prove that the money was actually sent. Many a times, we are trying to avoid paying commission. So what do we do? We give money to people who are going over that when you go, give this to Hajia for me. If you are going, um, give this to Barikisu for me. If you are going, um, give this to Tunde for me. If you are going, give this to Maria for me. So you don't want to pay a commission. And on that basis, it will be very difficult to have evidence to prove that you have been sending her money. So the little commission that you may pay will be very strong evidence that you may be able to get to submit such an application. So please, all that I say to you is as follows. Make sure that if you have any intention that you're going to bring your partner at some point, you cover all these areas before even you come to see the lawyer. Many a times people come to lawyers with empty hands and they expect the lawyer to perform miracle. Lawyers are not, what do we call it, prophets. And lawyers are not miracle makers. We deal with reality. You know, you can talk about, you know, um, miracles. My friend, I deal with reality, what I see. Yes, miracles do happen, but I would rather I deal with reality and then pray for miracles. Because you cannot sit there and do nothing and you say, manes must come from heaven. Those days are done. Not in this today's world because we live in a crazy world. Those days the manners were falling from heaven does not happen no more. Today, we are even lucky to get rain falling down. So all that I say to you is we need to build the evidence when we are going to make such an application. So Home Office will be looking at these factors and then decide whether to call you for an interview, to refuse your application, and so on and so forth. So you need to be aware of these things. The second point that they'll be looking at is whether the couple have been cohabiting and provide satisfactory evidence of shared responsibility. Whether they have children together, biological, adopted, or stepchildren together, and they shared some sort of responsibility. It is for this reason that those people who come to see me when I tell them you need to go back home to apply to come back in, I also advise them, make sure that you have some sort of evidence of your shared life in the UK. Because if you are in the UK and you start dating, you start seeing each other, and it's a genuine and it's of system, Home Office would expect that the couple will have to be able to bring evidence of relationship in the United Kingdom. And as couple, we will expect, your home office will expect you to be attending, you know, parties, social events, and so on and so forth. Possible evidence of living together. Maybe your name is on a tenancy agreement, um, bank statement, your name is on a utility bills, and so on and so forth. If you are able to get some of these, if, if you have a child and, you know, you have a child together, birth certificate can be used. If there's a stepchild and the other parent, is involved in that child's life, you can go to just that child's school and get a letter, you know, to show that maybe Mr. Susan So um, take this child from school. And it's like a father um, to this child. It helps when you go to make such applications. The third point is the partner, the applicant, um, both visit each other's home country and family and are able to provide evidence of this. I think we have already covered this already. So it's very, very important if you've been traveling um, to visit um, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, the person that you are dating, you know, it's very, very important. Evidence, if someone is coming to visit you, they will expect that the person will meet you at the airport, the person will take you to shopping, places, restaurants, hotels, you know, um, places of tourist attraction, and so on and so forth. These are the things that the Home Office would expect to see. 
So when you come to Loyadaku and I say all these things, it's not because I want you to waste your money, but I want you to have your peace of mind. And also, I want you to succeed. Because sometimes when you tell people, they go like, but this is too much. Of course, if you want it to work, then of course you have to do whatever you need to do um, to make sure that when your application is put in, it comes at the right time. The next one, the couple or their families acting on their behalf have made definite plans concerning the practicalities of the couple living together in the UK. So for example, you are bringing um, a stepchild and your wife to the UK. What are the things that you have put in place? Typical example would be accommodation. If you cannot provide no accommodation or evidence of accommodation that when they come over, there will be a place for them to stay, then of course that is going to be problematic. And in those circumstances, it will make it difficult for the application to succeed. So it's very, very important that we are aware of these things. And also, in the case of an arranged marriage, the couple both consent to the marriage and agree to the plans made by their family. You know, we have two types. We have arranged marriage and we have um, forced marriage or um, marriage of convenience. In some cultures, in some cultures, by all means, um, arranged marriage is accepted and arranged marriage is allowed. And as a result, the families could actually meet up and marry for the couple. In those instances, Home Office says, there have to be evidence that the both couples consent to the marriage and agree to the plans made by the families. Now, let's look at issues or factors that the Home Office will look at that will give them any concern. Right. One. If the marriage was a religious marriage that took place in a country that does not normally recognize that type of religious marriage. So if the marriage is a religious marriage and the country that the marriage took place do not recognize that marriage, then it will give consent to the home office. Two, it was a, religi it was a religious marriage or a customary marriage which has not been registered with the civil authorities of the country in which it was celebrated. Thirdly, the person's country of domicile is unclear, especially where their country of domicile would mean the type of marriage or civil partnership entered into will not be valid. Next one is a previous marriage or civil partnership was ended by a divorce or dissolution obtained in a different country from the one where it was celebrated and neither party was habitually resident in that country where the divorce or dissolution was obtained or a national of that country where the divorce or dissolution was obtained domiciled in the country or U.S. state where the divorce or dissolution was obtained. Next one, the marriage or civil partnership took place in the U.K. and there has been a report of suspicious sham marriage or civil partnership. Two, there is evidence from a reliable third party that the marriage is not a genuine marriage. So basically a tip off. Or there is an allegation of other information suggesting that this is a false marriage or that the marriage or civil partnership may not be genuine. 
or that the couple are not living together. Next is that the applicant or their partner doesn't appear to have the capacity to consent to the marriage. There is evidence of unreasonable restrictions being placed on the applicant or the partner. The applicant or partner failed to attend an interview without reasonable excuse. The couple are unable to provide information about their intended living arrangements in the United Kingdom. The circumstances of the wedding or civil partnership or few guests or no significant family members were present. The couple are unable to provide accurate personal details about each other. The couple are unable to communicate with each other in a language understood by both of them. There is evidence of money having been exchanged for the relationship to be contracted unless it's part of a dowry. There is a lack of appropriate contribution to the responsibilities of the marriage, civil partnership or relationship. Example, a lack of shared financial or other domestic responsibilities. Cohabitation is not maintained. The applicant is a qualified medical practitioner or professional or has worked as a nurse or a carer and the partner has mental or physical impairment which currently requires medical assistance or personal care in their own accommodation. The partner has previously sponsored another partner to come to or remain in the United Kingdom or, if applicable, claim to be married or in a civil partnership in reply in an asylum interview. The partner has previously been sponsored as a partner to come to the UK or remain in the UK. The partner was married to or in a partnership or civil partnership with the applicant at an earlier date, married or formed partnership with another person and is now sponsoring the original partner to come to the UK to remain. The past history of the original partner to come to the UK is also an issue. And also the applicant has applied for leave to enter or remain in the UK in another category and has been refused prior to making their application on the basis of their relationship to come to the UK as a spouse. The marriage or civil partnership has taken place overseas in a country that is not an obvious or popular destination for a marriage or civil partnership and has no previous links to the couple. So when you look at all the factors that I have mentioned, it's a lot, but this is just to give you an idea what the home office look at when making decisions so that is what i will say in relation to this it's been an hour i'm a bit tired so let's take some commercial break and then when we come back we will continue um the program when we come back we'll be looking at criminal justice or criminal injury compensation board and um, who can make a claim and how to make a claim. We will be looking at that. Hey, 
eko aman santen ta kasi eno su wa mo website eno suwa omo ni ube din ki tampon fe 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 eno na ora imanu e so be kato se endi ena onanyen that's right i'm way um now we are going to be talking about criminal injury compensation board and how you can make a claim if you are a victim of crime if you have suffered injury as a result of crime and this is something that a lot of our people may not be aware of or perhaps um you know um do not know um so today um i think i'll take time and go through um how the system work um the criminal injury compensation board how they normally work now i am tempted um to speak our local dialect um hopefully um people will get a better understanding of um this particular um provision that we have in the united kingdom um if you are watching me and you are you know uh, maybe not following please you know just give a shout out and i will do the best that i can and also speak it in english so that it can benefit all of us um because at the end of the day you know um we've come to this country um regardless we still have to learn how the system work in this country so we are all learning and we cannot know everything when one knows one teaches so we all have to do the best that we can and learn as much as we can. A Kromwa, you feel be social contract. Now, social contract, you know, a um, a ye theory be ah, a chair say, a nipa say, a woa, we a free man. Say, a woa, that's all you free man, dear. That means no one can control you. O be a entity and show so. Na emum in order for society to function in tea. Ayana yes change um some of our rights for protection. And for example, se ube krum one man. Uji tum so baby di krum wam raso. Enti a krumwa as part of their social contract between the government and the individual also. There is a trade. Some of our rights you know, is given to the government. And the government in, in return will also give you protection. And to protection, you know, and Nubina, Amon Fabeka say technically human rights. The right to family life. The right of association. The right not to be attacked. The right to be free to enjoy your life without interference. And if there's going to be an interference, it's going to be proportionate to prevention of crime. And you know, because of that trade-off, you know, there is unwritten rule say a bino a ya bina said yes say obi biara or nam chrome we I was say a chrome a bind and money protection. Protection a bin is protection from harm, either physical or mental. And no tina sebe 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 se obi empo ewo kromwa na se onya krono ewa a jinimu yare na se oye bema anaso yo ba nani ni pane koda ye kase sebi uwa ripu ni pano even though ebi ni ni pano so eti asema o se enenenda ba emremu no ye feni statutory rape adenti ni efeni sa ye feni sa in the sense se emremu no obi ana jinimu kano no onti mi ema capacity Oni to me ese eso to me ma kwen ema nene neda. Enti e bade sa na wwa oni se nipan bako dani ebe kyo aso. Because e ye abay na se di e ni se sa wamo sa no. A se di o omo e yare no. E ye abay na se di e se eso protect yo omo. E nun ti no se wono se nipan na ye bu se wa jini mu e ye no. Ana se onye yare fo no. Oni se nipan e sa kwa da. You'll be punished. Because of social contract, and your banner said here is a protected sankrofui. 
And you know, a Cromwell, your free be criminal injuries compensation board, whereby I say, Upra, i.e., Ubitini, a Kakogiska, a free Abayano. Now, a big Gina, a Prakra, a Pra. And it's a big Upra, and it's a young go through, not young share what I am talking about. And the first question is, who pray, who be tiyan jiske fi abayano? Through the criminal injury compensation board scheme, so who close family member, a whoa, a be a true crime, na a be a ubiye kuno, who be tiyan kujiske fi abayano? And now say one who say criminal offence bi, esi, na a nipa na a tour no no, or ye o love one. And now say, you have paid for a funeral of a person who died. And also so you can go to the government and claim money. And then finally say, okay, you can go through answer. Now in order to bring a claim, you know, I was say, oh, bring a claim you know, within two years from the event. And then finally say, and then, oh, now I'm here. Now it be a criminal, it be a statue back. Now we're proud. You report it to the police. Police come and do whatever they need to do. Within two years, and the date is um, 3rd of September. So that means by 2nd of September 2024, you must bring a claim. And yes, sir, are you too late? It will be time bad. You might also be able to make a claim for compensation if you were taking a justified and exceptional risk trying to stop a crime. For example, um, someone was in danger and you were trained. I mean, you are in a position, to, you have been trained and you are in a position to save the person from that danger and you get injured as a result. In that case, you'll be able to also, um, you'll be also be able to make a claim. Obi, our question be ano. He be be our trophy not to make new bizarre question. Why? Till my time can cry. You have to bring a claim within two years. However, if you could not bring a claim within two years, because you are a victim or childhood sexual or physical abuse, you can still bring a claim at a later date. Also, if you could not make a claim earlier because your mental or physical health stop you from doing that, also you'll be exempted from the two years limitation. You may also be able to bring a claim if your crime happened before 1st of October 1979 and you lived with the attacker as a family member at the time of the incident. Um, this was known as the same roof rule. You know, so that one too, you can bring a claim. It's very, very important. Personal injury at work, and the is at work, it's the employer and the negligent, I'll be sued, you know. But this one here, we are talking about crime, i.e. Um, a crime has taken place, the police have been involved. That's the reason why we call it criminal injury compensation. But so, what you mean, that's what you mean. And what you mean, what you mean, and yet, I said, yes, sir, I will provide a safe environment. I'm a year, Juma. And he said, I'm providing a safe environment. That's what we're proud of, Juma. Under Occupiers Liability Act of 1807. I think it's 1807. I'm bringing a claim against the employer. And I said, the owner of the establishment. And he said, no, a different sort of um, arena. But today, we are concentrating on crime. That is where a lot of people are not aware of. So, eligibility. You must have been one of the following when the crime happened. A British citizen or an EEA national or a close relative. A family member of an EU national who has the right to be in the United Kingdom. A family member of the armed forces or you are a close relative living in their household, a potential victim of human trafficking, on or before the date of your application, 
This must be confirmed by the UK Human Trafficking Center and UK Visa and Immigration. You are an asylum seeker. And also, if you are a national of a country that has signed up to the European Convention, European Convention on the Compensation of Victims of Violence Crimes. So if you are any one of these people, then of course, you can um, bring a claim. Also, you could be eligible to, for compensation if you are ordinarily resident in the UK at the time of the crime. Or you have a strong connection to the UK at the time of the crime. And you can get compensation for the following. Physical injuries. Physical injuries, you can get a compensation. Disabling mental injuries, you can get a compensation. Sexual or physical abuse, you can get a compensation. The death of a close relative, you can get a compensation. Paying for someone's funeral if the person died as a result of crime, then of course you can get a compensation. Loss of earnings and expenses, you can also get a compensation for this. How do you make a claim? You can make a claim online. And if you don't know how to make a claim, get in touch with Justice and Law Solicitors. We will help you to make a claim. Basically, you make a claim to the Criminal Injuries Compensation Authority. I call them Criminal Injuries Compensation Board because of the fact that I'm an old school, you see. That used to be their name, but now they changed the board to authority. And when you are doing the application, you need the following information. The date and location of the crime. The name of the police station where the crime was reported. Your crime reference number. Your GP's name and address. Your dentist's name and address. Details of any previous applications that you have made to the Criminal Injuries Compensation Authority. Details of any unspent criminal convictions. They'll be looking at all this. Now, let me take my time and explain this to other people. When a crime takes place, it's very, very important that you record the date of the crime, the location, and the crime itself. If you went to the police, then of course you need to get the police station, the address, and also the crime reference number. If you went to a GP, make sure that if you get injured, you go to your GP to get yourself checked out. If you were punched, you lost a teeth, you go to your dentist, get um, evidence. And any previous application that you have made to the Criminal Injury Compensation Authority, any details of unspent convictions, you see, when you, you have a criminal record, they'll be looking at all this to do the assessment when they are making a decision. But if you deliberately provide information and you know that that information is wrong or misleading, you may be prosecuted and your application for compensation will be refused. So, if you are doing the application, you may also be asked if you are claiming any benefits. If you are also making any claim through insurance payments, or civil court claim and action, or you have any criminal court case pending. It's very, very important that we are aware of this. So all that I'm saying is this. If a crime has taken place and you have suffered injury as a result. So for example, you are living with your partner. Your partner beats you up. You sustain injuries. Police are called. Criminal, um, your partner is being, is being prosecuted. You have been to your GP and so on and so forth. And you're going to claim compensation. Then, of course, the Criminal Injury Compensation Authority is there for you to put in your claim for your compensation. That is what that we need to know today. Also, let's look at how to handle encounters with the police. 
Justice and law, solicitors through the spirit of the most high. We have helped a lot of people to get into the country. No lawyer will give you this. But justice and law solicitors. Because once you come to a country, it's like you are born again, everything is new. You will feel dizzy. Dizzy you may feel. It's a fact. The question therefore is how do you settle down? When you come over to this country, so much is said about the police and law enforcement. Sometimes people brainwash you with racism, ideologies, and how the police are this, how the police are that, and so on and so forth. But for me, it's also very, very important that you need to know how to play the game. Because if you don't learn how to play the game, you're always going to find yourself in a mess. And therefore, it's important that we check out the real situation. And then we have to navigate our way through the complex web of life in the UK. So what do you do? This is just a general guidelines for all our brothers, sisters, those of us who are listening. This is just from an observational point of view and also from other people's experiences how they have been able to deal with their law and forces in order to get themselves out of a situation. Because this country, as soon as you get criminal record, you are nearly finished. It's a mess once you get into you, once you get a criminal record. And it costs a lot of, you know, problems to a lot of people. So, one, in order to um, avoid contact with the police or law enforcers. The first thing that you must do is to check your behavior and your appearance. I have come across a case where someone has been stopped by the police. Why? Because it's in the middle of summer. The weather was so hot and the person was wearing a coat. Police thought that this is a bit crazy. A bit surprising this is not normal for someone to be wearing a coat in the middle of summer for that reason the police had to go to the person and talk to the person also your behavior towards police if you are lucky enough for the police to come to you and they are asking you simple questions and you are being hostile or you are being dismissive once again it makes the police think that you have something to hide. And one question can lead to another and another and another and it leads to problems. So this is something that we have to be aware of. When you are contacted or approached by the police, it's very, very important. Stay calm. Be respectful. And be polite at all times. It does not mean be timid. Be polite at all times, but make your case. So, for example, if I am going down the road and the police stop by the roadside. Hello, sir. Can I, can I speak to you for one minute? Of course, sir. What can I do for you? How are you today? Oh, yes. Um, we are looking for someone and you fit a description. All right. And what is the description, officer? But before we go on, can I take your name? Can I take your badge number? And can I also um, 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 take the station that you are working from or the station that you work at? Can I take this information? So straight away, you have to get that from the police if possible. If you have a video or a phone, just tell the police officer in order to protect you and in order to protect him, you are going to record the encounter. So you pull up your phone and you start recording. Police officer, can I ask for your name, your badge number, and the station that you are working? The police officer has to identify himself. And you ask the police officer why he's stopping you. Why he's stopping you. And the police officer has to tell you once again that you fit a description, da-da-da-da-da. And then you have the right to ask the police officer what is the description. 
Because I've come across cases where the instructions given to the police officer was that the person was wearing white top. The police officer saw someone, similar description, that the person was wearing black top. But still, the police officer went and stopped the person, start, you know, problems with the person. The person was smart and the person did ask, you know, um, these questions. And when the police officer phoned, he was told that no, the person is wearing white. That was the end of the um, encounter. So it's very, very important that we learn these tricks. If the police officer perceives you as acting unreasonably or as a threat to the officer's safety or safety of others, the officer will respond in an unreasonable manner to maintain authority and control. So it's very, very important that when you are dealing with the police, you calm yourself down. You don't give them an excuse, basically, to harass you or to, if, to, 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 to mature you, you see. So you have to be a bit smart and a bit clever. Two, be mindful of your physical presence. You know, police officers are trained to control people. So don't be intimidating. Don't try to intimidate the police officer with your height, your structure, or whatever. Don't pose in an intimidating way. Because if not, the police officer will perceive that to be an intimidation and they may react accordingly. So try and be calm and speak in a polite and respectable manner. Now, let's go to the next one. Determine whether you are free to go. Always ask the police officer whether you are free to go. So you can always ask the police officer, am I under arrest? If you are not under arrest, am I free to go? Because if you don't ask and get the clearance and you start leaving, the officer may well, perceive you to be running from, inter um, from you know, lawful arrest or lawful detention and so on and so forth. So it's very, very important. You don't need to speak to the police if you don't want to because it's not your job to help the police to do their job. And therefore, you don't need to. But if you have nothing to hide, I think you will cooperate so that they can leave you alone and you go about your business. It's very, very, very important. Next, pay attention to your surroundings and your circumstances. Look around you. Make sure that officer has got a name and a badge number. Look for other witnesses in the area and look for people, if possible, take their details. So if they need to contact with contact witnesses, you can then do so. Also, you have the right to remain silent. You don't need to talk, mm -hmm. but inference may be drawn if you don't talk when you are asked a question. So the police, um, you can say that I want to be silent and I don't want to speak. And I want to speak with my solicitor or with my lawyer. If not, I'm not speaking to you. You have the right to do that. And you have the right for your lawyers to be available and to be there, you know, before you talk um, to the police. It's very, very important. Consensual encounters. That is where um, police contact you and you allow them, i.e. to basically either to talk to you or um to communicate with you. So you can communicate with a police officer. And for me, in some cases, communication is very, very important. It helped to solve the problem. I've been stopped by the police at least on two different, in fact, three different occasions. And because of I was able to communicate with them well, basically they left me alone. Two occasions, I was in the wrong, no doubt about that. I was driving, I did a right turn in Brixton area. And before I know, there was a police officer behind me. The siren started going off. I parked my car. As soon as I parked the car, I got out and walked to the police officer. I did not sit in my car for the police officer to come to me. The fact that I went to the police officer, for me, it was a sign of respect. And I asked the police officer, is there anything that I can help him with? You know, he was surprised. In Brixton, a black man, Showing that respect, he was very, very, you know, surprised. So he simply told me that the turn that I did was a wrong turn. And did I see the sign that there is no right turn? I apologized to him and I said, I'm very, very sorry. I did not see the sign. Um, I am rushing to the hospital. This has happened, da, 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 da. 
And he said, you know what? Be a bit more careful next time. That was it. It only took less than two minutes of my time. If I have sat in my car with a bit of pomposity and the police officer walking down to me, what do you think would have happened? He would have no doubt taken the case further. So sometimes the way we communicate, the way we sort of behave, can um, heighten situations or it can de-escalate situations. So this is a tip. So um, encounter with the police, I think that is all that I will say um, um, today. There are so many things that you can also do um, basically um to deal with the police but this is just an example now let's go to creating a share code a brother just sent me a text asking how long will it take for an employer um to do what for an employer to um how long will it take for an employer um to um how long will it take for, for an employer to um um do to get a response back if they do ECS check? Normally I would say 72 hours to a week they should get a response back. But at the moment the system now Aquila Sekakra everywhere is difficult. You cannot put timetable on anything these days. And this is just a rough idea that I can give you. But what I will say is this. If you have been issued with one of the new cards, i.e. biometric residency permit card, which is expiring um, on 31st of December 2024, you can do your own um, 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 share code by going to, by Googling um, creating share code for an employer. And I say, um, prove your right to work. Once you go to the website, um, click start. Once you click start, um, it will ask you whether you have a um, biometric residency permit card. You say yes. And you put your biometric residency permit card number on there. Once you put that there, it will ask for your, um, your date of birth. You put your date of birth there straight away. It will take you to the home office website and you will see um, your status. Go down and say continue. Once you click continue, it will ask you, do you want to create a share code to your employer? Say yes. As soon as you say yes, the share code will come on the screen. You can print it out, you can write it out and send it to your employer and they'll be able to check your right to work themselves. Alternative, you can send it by email if you have the employer's email address and then you, you click email, put their email address in and say sent. It will be sent to them. That's all that it is. And you can do it that way. It's now 20 past 12. We will bring the program to an end. And we will then activate the telephone lines. Anyone who has got a question um, will be able to call in um, and ask the question that the person um, may have. But before then, we thank you all for tuning in. We thank you all for listening. And next week, We'll be back again. But before then, um, we're going to open the phone lines. And if you have any question, by all means, you can call in and um, ask any question that you may have. It may be something that we treated today. It may be something that we have not treated, but it's bothering you. If that is the case, then by all means, you can do what you can, um, you know, um, you can, um, by all means, call in and we'll be happy to deal with your question um, for you. All right. So until then, let's just um, play this tune and then um, we will then activate the telephone line. The telephone number today is 07538
0809-5589. That is the telephone number for the show today. So by all means, you can call in. <laughs> That's right. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I read the I'm say, uh, and I say, where magic, papa, 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 and the question I have a person who is now only poor about compensation, but maybe the NF work injury. Um, I just want to find out, sir, sir, um, when you industrial injury, now, um, you have been paid compensation already, but then you realize that. Uh, the compensation that you have been paid, no, not it wasn't right for you. Uh. can you also uh, to me as I and I said, uh, uh, yes, we to me take it to further, but you have been paid already like almost a year now. Okay, um, who is paying you? And I said, who paid you? The, 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 the employer. Okay, Ayana, um, what it is, and I said, so obi be about my compensation. Ayana, on the more sign contract to be. Ah, and no, no, O Sanya, Obejia to me say, Unti me and Marine negotiate, and I say, Unti me and bring it another claim about the same injury. Yeah, and it's on my own baby, unfortunately, and not Baba ye bind them. And it's a Oko Baki Bima, it will be a breach of that contract, which. Basic, I love the cocoa to be for. And you know, once you accept the offer now, it becomes a contract. That is it. And the Anna is always advisable, said before, so obey any compensation. You, know, you have to be absolutely sure, say it is the right amount, and I say the right compensation for you. And yes, I now okay, rushing our set here. Anna, it's too late, you cannot come back to it. And so in this case, when they can't sign contract video, unfortunately, that is it. I said, Oh, the me. Why? Okay, okay, that's it. That's it. No problem, no problem. I'm a phone call. I said, I'm a friend. That's it. Okay, bye bye. Okay, what I will say, oh, okay, I cut it. I drop up. But I'm one of I'm waiting here for a while. Now, offer a bedroom. So come on, come on, come on. Now, I'm on for each other. So, you know, offer a number. And to me, I need a and to me, I need a alpha. And to the mess, you pee. I'm waiting here as a friend. Number 07538 
Mwana mufre yengina Ayeti kambara Yes There were 13 minutes Over to me a friend If you say a chamo A chamo come Achilles Good morning to you Baby I will be at your church here Yes Compensation for the muscle. Hello. Hello, lawyer. Um, good afternoon to you. I'm Patrick Dini, sir. Good afternoon. Dr. Miguel, if you're sure, you're making case. Preachers, why you never? And that's all. Why you? Why him? 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 British High Commission in Ghana at moving pick. And you know, that is the answer to that question. I was say okay. almost submitted, almost supporting documents. Yeah, so for example, ABA, who invite over? I'm a number. This is just an example. Who invite over? Who do you say? And I said, what can I say? Oba ban be bi ada. Obe ma ni ani edi. E bi ase sa na be. Na e bi a o ma me so so o ga na. O ma me ni be to print ticket no. A man is spending money. Yeah. Okay. In this case you know, home office would want to see evidence of relationship between the applicant and the sponsors. Okay. And in the birth certificate be che say ni ma me ni papa. Now, my men are adding a bank statement, adding the pay slips, and not any business documents to show say she is in the position to sponsor the applicant. Now, also, I also saw the name I can hold to prove say you are in a position to provide food and also accommodation when the applicant come to the United Kingdom. And in this case, now both parties. Will submit their documents in that right. scenario. Okay. Now, first question: If we frame, we decide. We will figure out. Ah, now, I just want to say. Is it TV tuberculosis? Okay, that's fine. Uh -huh. Good. Um, tuberculosis. Say, oh, but for visitor, you don't need to do tuberculosis. That is the answer. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 That's it. Okay. Yes. Because uh, the cars and now to say the baby holidays now. Yeah. 
Yes. 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 Accent Scotland. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you grand. <laughs> that is the way we speak it. Oh, please don't start. And you come from Glasgow? I'm done, done, done. You come from Glasgow? <laughs> yes, that's the way we do it. Madam Scotland Bakupe. Glasgow? Or Edinburgh? Are we to Glasgow or Edinburgh? Yes. 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 That's right. Ah, oh lawyer, I'm I'm slow. i okay. Yes. I will I'm Yes. I will tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you. So amazing, so amazing. Let me show. Me quite mad that one. Mhm. Ah, clients in that mission. Mhm. Omo kaka be say. Clients in that day or year, me say obi sink na ishini flow na ikufo. Into obi a owo due to that night, and there was some money done for every thirty minutes. But this started so yeah. Was it blue shoe? Me copper head. Me copper head. Last one, I'm a queen, I'm a catching soldier. I said, I'm not going to stop it. I said, why? He said, because I use my money to pay for it. If it's damaged, they have to pay for it. And when I'm going to say, Nadia, I can't do it. I mean, I'm not going to do it. I said, I'm not going to do it. I said, I'm not going to do it. I said, I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going to Na a move do now a free police for mobile. Now police for by na me kai was the be a okay say you have to be in the low tone. Yeah. Just calm down. Be respectful way and speak to the police. To me kai some way I will kai no. Then I use it to respond to them. Now me catch the police. Police for be same say. What happened? Nami said nothing. He's just saying things he doesn't even know. But my colleague now, when we flow, we should be saying Papa, we are not. Being so, you're very aggressive. Yeah. But when we go to now, Papa, we should be now. We are saying Papa, pray. If I see Papa, now I come in quiet. But the way I make a sign. What is the funny shit? You know, I go show we need him. No, we start show we need him. No, it's okay. We move on. Later, met a woman. There are some of the course were seven months. 
they invited me to the police headquarters I was spotted. Na union for a bed. Now you could dream. Senior Omushama appearance and meeting all. Senior, me be my master, my maker. Who will be standing and let me hear in a low tone. Mm -hmm. We will see, you know what? We know already that this thing is not true, but we just want to see how you respond to yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as we concerned, this case is closed and we have nothing against you. The way you spoke to us, you have proved and you have really touched mm -hmm. my heart and it shows that all the evidence we went there for the investigation. We didn't even get any more evidence that proved that you did it. So mm -hmm. as far as we concerned, we set you free. Yeah. And they were almost setting me free. Let me be sad almost say. What would be sad me say? Am I going to take the case further? I'm so why should I do that? I'm not going to do that. I don't even have that time yeah. going and up and down and that. Once yeah. the case has been closed, it has been closed. It's in the okay and when I make cartoons to say. Uh, sometimes you know, who appearances? Yeah, who personality the way you speak to them. If you also send you show and you will be able to make a sound, you say some more can wait to make But you just have to calm down. So we see any lawyer idea. Just calm down and be respectful way. Yeah. The way you speak to them, they will say they will come back to you and yeah. they will leave you as you said. And then you said to be aware, and we come a seminal course, and that's not a day eight months. But later, we will say to me. Free. Uh, when we were in the report to come uh, PDG, I uh, know we were from PDG and England, the CRB. Okay. No, we were in the team. Now, CRB, I mean, you know, we say, but I have to also say, under consideration. Yeah. I say, now we were under consideration. Everything. You say, I am innocent. Mm-hmm. We are here, come with me now. Don't leave your colleague with that client. And you made a mistake. I mean, yeah, and it's a man that was there. Me, you know, I'm a challenge. But I thought to say the way I was aggressive. Now, we've seen the crew before now. The PR, they will speak to him to calm down. That was what I thought. But I thought wrong. Hey, you know. What he gave me say, Oh, we grim nas and see, and now could make it by manger or a man you pan, nipple, bet me a castle matter, so I win you all. And we're fully being most so more here at home, or bet you out to because I recall me, or bet you out to one shin here. Not what could not deny be away, you can say, which is to make a way up to me. I walk and she said, That's a pa won't check, so I won't check any in the age, my age, my pa, my abuan is. So thank you very much for your. All the time you share this with us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is a wonderful testimony. And a small walking, not a simple or my dream, same maker, but make us an army refi. Care a human a very dangerous job. People should not underestimate it at all. I didn't think it dangerous. Get a boogie in your noon people. And I have said the answer to you in your noon people. Now, this week, a Nigerian be a semi or your care work, you be now of Nigeria and the buy now. Care work now, all you know. Unfortunately, this is what has happened. Care now, you can't wash your own, you're so free bed, so a bit of form or better of form. No, next anchor or record or an assess or report or meaning how it is done now. Instead, you know, I'm not happy getting the panetto bed in the soon as you see and who you are now. Call it into one true incident. I face it two days later. Omo who say me pano, um, Bruce is big on him. I face ye 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 ye. Any pano ko, yeso anya internal bleeding. Enti omo show mo CCTV no. Ano omo who say, any pano, otishi. Wa wa ye care yeso oshe no. Omo ya instead of bringing it to the authorities' attention no. Na wa kama no atu. Sisi a ye ke, any pano is in trouble. 
So on more, it's your best remo, and it may be one more. Is here, yes, a year important to say over report because a young call report to ya. And I can't say she actually was taken for check up her, a young kid if I know survival. But not yet, I say ODC, she as well as I could do. Sisi and you should go call you. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. You have to record it and then report it. it over. You find the man on the floor. That's it. Now, even at all, on the floor, you are not entitled and you are not the right person. So, but but and, lift it up. Yes. Because if you are not with your face either. Yes. It was so afraid senior on duty or next on duty. Say. Then when you finish, the first thing you have to do is to record the incident, what happened, the time, the place, and everything. To be assigned. We yes are we okay? But if you keep it to yourself, it means that you are hiding it. Yes. And the bit, and the echo police were Jesus Christ. See, I'm making no much relevant. I see office prosecution. I want to you obey them because when she here. You have a case of manslaughter. You have a case of nobody. Oh yeah. 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 And it is serious. I just said I'm being. Because you should go call him. Just an abra boni na ayebasa. See see a case of you have a case of And he na kwa kope ju mebi. Of that record. No yeah. Me di ene ko police na ene police unko umu di ko triple S yano. E ye Scottish Deben Deben Council. Woman so woman na woman shake a walk from him na woman na woman to cheer for Jim to say England a phone to a good Jim cry woman they are saying I'm for saying my woman no woman can be a final yeah and a TV generation here and no na a show on Kukwe and Mbere one year they walk from him and take me and saying me na the day I got that one ish for the past 2019 and this is 2022 I said no money claiming. Na aye na me ne pe mu because some of them pay one day itra na baby asam ne ya kono na aye asam because man in the na oni mi ne asam na ena masem we pa enu itra se abenti ya ma kwa edu ma dakro na wa bonne se fo ewo ni mi na mani se me kwa te ewo and she may cut the ewo me se me try home office for na de into a beer she ena no be some the Christie they say your visa has been expired. It's not something that we did. Yeah. And we did head office. It's just a my reporting on my head office. No one in my family. My name is D. Nassim Webb. Boom. It's a shock. Or shame, papa. Or stretch me, papa. But my fan too for me so. Now me quit writing him. Me quit writing him for the past three years. Me writing him in Bible. Now, and it's so simple. Now me can. Just say, baby, I'm my stress. It means the day. Let us see, basa. Police for inviting some people into the room. Now, every put the nurse up. But in the name of Namie, you feel it. Me share your maybe brief film. Send that to me. We do my ma. Ah, some mistake in the day. So you just send me pay. You have money for thirty minutes. Thirty minutes to record. I never go on a record. That's right. Then you make call. You keep it up. Is she a good auntie? ตะเกียร์น่าโอ้ค่ะน่าสนิทเดียวเนี่ยนี่พาร์ฟิล์มอาร์ฟิล์มเป็นวันแรกเนี่ยอยู่โซ่ซึ่งประมาณปัจจุ
Yeah, I was saying for me, you know, you are a person, you are a person. Ah, you are a person. 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 And I say, I'm a sitter, I'm a sitter, I'm a a sitter, a and I said, yeah, show be some time ago, healthcare and companies that we recruiting. Um, and you know, mention many details I'm for a dear man by WhatsApp. Um, the next one here, um, your friend is saying, um, what do you call it? Um, question of say whether you can retain your e um, your right. So, o you na e yi si ni ana. O pa chawa yi si. Ah, so yi si ni dia, o bit me retain you right. Na emre da ho ni, me boss we have four points and e so me cover. E so it me a professor on in awari. And therefore no, um you have evidence of marriage certificate. E so o professor awari no e last year for at least one year. And so we have no evidence. E so professor UK on in it na ha at least for 3 years. I also prove you said there has been a divorce. I also prove you said Obano Aye Ejuma continues from the time of marriage up to the time of divorce. And also, I also prove you said from the time of divorce up to the time of the application. Also, so why Ejuma? It will be prove you said for where you can retain your right. But it is a me retaining my right now. And no, no, a Omo Mame me to me fee no so I could see fee no no. And now. Say no, no, the problem is they say, say all the application equal to you early before say five years is up. Home office will simply refuse you and tell you say you cannot retain your rights because you haven't been here for five years. In some cases, if the case worker is good, that will be used to discretion, not some another five years. But to be safe, another five years, some another five years. But to be safe, which means you can now say, I'm a five years in this one. Now the application, the concept name is Rejai. After the application, never, and I'm only bringing it as soon as it was practically possible to do so, or reasonably possible, practical, practical to do so. Not what the IG. And the other said three years in the end, boy. After no bani babi divorce, divorce is a court no slow slowness of him. And by the time we bring a divorce certificate, now it be another six months to one year, ba. That would take us to next year, 2023, 2024. And you know, say, oh, five years never so 2024, 2025. Me, I'm a five years now, since I'm the application. Then you need to. We are divorced, number one, divorce certificate, right? That is the safest thing to do. Oh, okay. So the whole question is, for a very long time, we are one year, two years ago, uh, yes, they can question you, but who say our rejai idea? It is the same thing ever. We go and hear each other. No, any defense, any depression. It is therefore now a new good state of mind. And I said, I cannot answer. So, but you remember what I said. But you are saying. It will reach out and say we need depression. And you go to your doctors, you get your, um, <laughs> you know, something down. So that when the time comes. And you suffer from depression as a result of the divorce. You went through difficulties, challenges, um, and as a result, you were unable to submit the application within a month or two after the divorce. Now that you are feeling a bit better, now you are, you know, you are in control of things. I don't yeah. think say any reasonable person will challenge that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 y
Yes, I mean, say pain, you know, uh, uh, if it's getting worse, then because of that, you, know, you are unable mm -hmm. to work out. You can mm -hmm. by all means go to your um, GP. Mm -hmm. Your GP will do assessment, mm -hmm. and your GP will either give you a sick note. Mm -hmm. In that case, you will stay home. Depending mm -hmm. on the terms of your employment contract, mm -hmm. they may decide to pay you or not pay you, depending mm -hmm. on the employment contract. Mm -hmm. um, if they are, cannot pay you, then you have to go to mm -hmm. stage three sick pay and claim from the government mm -hmm. and, you know, until say she feels better. However, yeah. to the nature of mm -hmm. the job, you know, and all you know, a lady to have problems, you know, um, mm -hmm. the employer will be under obligation to do reasonable adjustment. Maybe I do a chronic and a cause of problem, nature of food will be a bit in a not emphasize problem name, but only thing I shift in on that type of work. And to the same, it's here. That's a key lawyer because you are serious after the family. See, about you could do anything, I just said, you can't go very, very dangerous. But one of them, but you can't show me the man, you can't be what you can't be what you can't be what you yeah, what you that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Yes, was a Yes, a great future starts with a great nursery. And he said, Open nursery, papa, a young modern, scientific, and international. A little green nurseries at Clapham Junction are a war, um, Thames Christian College. A building name, a one little green nurseries, as also a war. Say so open quality nursery education and the I was say official or much co internet and so I'm a certain time so they put it in little green nurseries details need now or when you will be open or TA Bay area when I say open nursery I'm only two to five year old and the woman more and yeah now when you're the mom for a woman now more few spaces available few availabilities one for all more because se oba be ye greater ni na jina foundation years and it's a foundation years now e ye fantastic trust me oba e be nyini aba be ye penina wudim ah o me ye e how en samao because e wi asana me di kan kan ye no ye se kaje ti abete ye wan ni ne na be di na china and it's a one investor oba 
emu enea usana obe nyini no no asabe ye e how asabe to so it says can invest it today for a better future tomorrow a greater future depends on an investment today and in this great future you can never forget your past Hello, Obey Ketri. Hello, caller. Hello, 415. Hello, 415. Nyan, you're ready. Hello. I'm to talk. I'm going 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 to what did they say? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to Yes, you bet me invite you know, Nani na be depende financial circumstances as to who is going to feed your mother. Where is she coming to stay? Um oh mama, so now when you see car would be can you take it? Or no when you see car would be didia and can be a fantastic. Because when you man, na sa bed there, no, I'm a tall also. And the question, therefore, is, oh, mommy, so yeah, you may be a, no, I need to. Oh, yeah, you want to call pension. I'm just call pension. Pension or GP, and I say, eh. That's right. Or your pension pay. Or your pension pay. And it's like, you more do you can cry no savings, be she baby, so on. Nanka, I mean, I'm going to be a dear use. And if I say, yeah, mommy, I'm here to be with me, I see this car cry. If you are be, roughly speaking about four thousand pounds at an account, you know, because our baby did bear one month to accrue more any amount because plane ticket here fancy cost four thousand. One month, you know, we did bear eight hundred pounds. Or basu so money accommodation, and therefore, no, by rough calculation, money wise, no, any issue. Oh my, I'm so so minimum age, but I will be occupied in there over sixties. I know no at risk group, no, she is not at risk group, cause what the 18 to about 45 far omo fi se no no e ya more likely so ba wo nko but we be a whole pension there o metin ko mo ampehwe e enti that will be a plus for her enti ni o ma me dey na be bi am fi se be problem na finances no so we tin resolve that by all means o je benefit e no nche se o tin invite o bi ma name na mbu e ni pani circumstances any scar e wo for her that e ni pani bit me dey ahwe na ho e no na e ye crucial okay the second question is that I'm a person who is 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 a civil marriage. Yes, um, say civil marriage, dear. I know, dear, it doesn't matter where you want to divorce. You can divorce here, you can divorce in Ghana. Normally, no, process in Ghana, no, and it will be cheaper, Kakra, as compared to the UK. Yeah. And to that's how it is. Why? T. Are you my sister? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it.